we are announcing an uh, event to be organized by the Ministry of Ports, Shipping and Waterways. The Ministry will be organizing a global summit uh, called the Global Maritime India Summit 2023 from 17th October to 19th October at uh, Pragati Maidan, New Delhi. So this would be a platform for the Indian maritime community and also the international maritime communities to converge and uh, share their ideas. So it is expected that more than 40 countries will be participating. Uh, many countries will be sending their ministerial delegations. Many will be sending official delegations. So the three-day summit uh, will be having a global CEOs forum. There will be an investor summit. There will be an international level exhibition. So there will be plenary sessions. There will be special uh, state sessions, including the state of uh, Goa. So uh, this uh, wonderful opportunity will be utilized by international industry players, maritime global players, and many stakeholders. So uh, we expect the state of Goa also to participate. So as a precursor to this event, uh, Marmagoa Port Authority is organizing a roadshow event tomorrow, uh, that is 25th of October at 7 p.m. The venue is the Marriott in Miramar. And we expect uh, the Honorable Chief Minister, Dr. Pramut Savant, to be the chief guest uh, for the roadshow event. And the Minister of uh, State for Ports, Shipping and Waterways, uh, Shri Sripat Naik Ji will also be participating along with the State Tourism Minister and uh, the State Industries uh, Minister. So tomorrow's roadshow event is planned to share the idea and uh, showcase the Global Maritime India Summit for the stakeholders uh, of Goa. So we hope that uh, this kickoff event will be um, a successful event involving all the stakeholders in the state and all the stakeholders here will be able to use the platform of Global Maritime India Summit scheduled to be held uh, in October uh, 2023. Thank you. See, we have already, I think the ministry has already invited 62 countries. So the, uh, the invitation process is still going on. So it is expected that more than 40 countries would be participating. So we'll be able to give the full list of countries probably uh, maybe one or two weeks uh, later uh, because we will get that list from the ministry also. But it is expected that more than 40 countries will participate. Then the global maritime uh, players, all the international, uh, many of the in international ports, all the major ports of India, the states who have a stake in the maritime industry, other players, other stakeholders like dredging companies, you know, the technology companies, because uh, some of the sessions are about the emerging technologies and automation in the port sector. So a lot of these players will be coming and participating in this summit. In what way the new opportunities for the, uh, the stakeholders, the industry uh, in this project? See, as you, as you may be already knowing, even in India, the, um, uh, the, mainly the trade is taking place uh, through the seaways. For example, 95% of the total trade by volume and 70% by value, that is the data, take place through the seaways. So there are a lot of stakeholders uh, in the maritime industry. And you may be also aware that uh, the uh, India the government of India has been taking a lot of steps in the last uh, uh, 9 to 10 years in improving the infrastructure in ports. So because of that, in the uh, World uh, you know, Logistics Performance Index, which is a World Bank uh, index, the India has climbed several places, like it is 38 now, and which was 54 10 years back. So this kind of, uh, uh, you know, uh, development of infrastructure in the ports, etc., will attract more investment. So it is expected that at least a 8 to 10 lakh crore investment will be coming in the ports of India, all the ports of India. We have not only the major ports, there are 12 major ports and more than 200 uh, other smaller ports. So all these ports will see tremendous uh, investment opportunities.
गोवा में ये इवेंट होना ये होना और ये एन की तरफ से ये इस बार कितना महत्वपूर्ण है ऐसा आपको लगता है See, we we expect uh, some of the states to actively participate, and one of the states, obviously, will be. We expect that Goa will will be a partner state in the uh, exhibition because Goa has tremendous stakes in the tourism area also, and also in the trade because uh, this is one state which is having a major port also. There are only 12 major ports, and one major port is in the state of Goa, and Goa can uh, see a huge uh, you know trade increase and also. a lot of uh, promotional opportunities in the tourism uh, sector so goa will get an opportunity to to showcase that uh, opportunities in the exhibition and there will be a one and a half hour uh, state level session special session for a few states including the state of goa uh, coming to mpa what the next will for the mpa from this summit coming back from the summit see we will definitely look for more opportunities in the uh so the all the remaining berths the cargo berths you know our uh, intention should be uh, will be to monetize the all, all the entire berths so we look for more investment opportunities uh in the in the port so that the port will get additional revenue and also will generate additional employment opportunities in the state of goa it will be more uh, force on uh, clean cargo and like that But definitely we don't intend to in, you know increase the coal uh, cargo here Call already is being handled uh, in two berths. So the other berths, we expect the Goa and or also to go up, and we will expect more investment in in uh, infrastructure required to uh, you know transport iron ore and other kinds of uh, cargo. Uh, in coming summit, whether there will be discussion on it, boost uh, the Chinese uh, promotion and all that. See, we we are already developing an international cruise terminal here, so the the work is uh, going on very fast, and we expect uh, this uh, terminal project to be completed by the end of the year. Then there is a port connectivity, four lane port connectivity coming into the uh, you know into the port. So we are now focusing on these infrastructure projects to be completed, so that it will be a kind of a huge makeover for the port. It will improve the connectivity to the hinterland. so and also the investors will be more interested to come up with projects in the port last question sir yeah. uh, so many guys we are listening that port is going in loss and so what is the condition of what is the status of port now uh, the port is going in loss uh, is not the correct uh, thing because every port if you look at all the all the old ports old major major ports like mumbai Uh, Cochin and Goa will be having a huge uh, burden like the pension, you know, uh, requirements. Yeah. So we the the we 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 are not in loss in a technical sense, but we need to have a corpus yeah. to meet the huge pension yes. requirement. Yes. So, for example, we have four thousand five hundred pensioners, yes. but our current employees are only thousand one hundred odd employees and four thousand five hundred odd pensioners. Yeah. So we need to keep a corpus for the to meet the pension requirement in the uh, in the long run so we are in the process of you know making that corpus otherwise uh, you know it is not that we are in the red but we being a autonomous uh, body under the ministry we need to make resources to meet the long term requirements